Hi, everyone. This is Nate. And this is Douglas at PCC. PCC 814 will arrive at your practice in November of 2020. So what's coming in PCC 814? First up, PCC EHR has new sexual orientation and gender identity components. A full video showing how they work will play next, right on this playlist. And right after that, we've got a preview video of the next phase in PCC's Chattis integration, which we're pilot testing right now. You'll soon be able to send online Chattis questionnaires to patients and families. They'll be notified and can open them from the patient portal. Before we get to those videos, are there other things I need to know about in PCC 814? You can now use broadcast messaging to send out texts and emails to patients right from the report library. Douglas, PCC EHR already does that. Yes, and in PCC 814, we add that capability to more reports, which means you can now use broadcast messages for immunization and flu shot recalls and more. PCC 814 allows you to specify each portal user's relationship to the patient, which is great for setting access permissions and sending out questionnaires and portal messages to the right person. During the PCC 814 release cycle, we updated code sets, LOINC tests, immunization forecasting, and made several cool improvements to the Practice Vitals dashboard. Also, PCC EHR can now track immunizations using NDC codes, and we continue to update and improve our clinical document exchange features in PCC EHR. And there's a ton of other smaller improvements. You can read all about PCC 814 at learn.pcc.com updates. And you can stay tuned right now to see a video about sexual orientation and gender identity, and a preview video about the PCC EHR Chattis integration.